Following the weather chaos at the Lazitz ring for race one, beautiful sunshine awaited us for the start of race two. Round four of the championship, and with Thomas Prining on pole position for the first time this season, the defending champion in the Manti EMA Porsche led the charge with Ricardo Feller alongside him, and the new championship leader, Kelvin van der Linde, starting with the second row of the grid. Into turn one, Thomas Prining holding the lead of the race. Feller in second, side by side for third between Mirko Bortolotti and Kelvin van der Linde, but the Italian in the Lamborghini just about fending off the South African just behind them in fifth place Luca Engsler who qualified once again in the top six van der Linde quickly found his way past Bortolotti and into third place despite carrying 20 kilograms of success ballast for his race one win Sheldon van der Linde meanwhile was trying to charge from near the back of the field as was Maro Engel and then we had side by side for the lead of the race and a terrific move from Ricardo Feller set it up at turn one got the job done through turn two and squeezed into the lead by the time they got to turn three. Feller, who finished in second place in one of the races at the Lausitz ring last year, didn't want to say second for long. Then a great view of it from Kelvin van der Linde's car on the replay showed just how tight it was. An audacious move from the Swiss driver. From the mandatory pit stops then, out back in the lead of the race effectively came Ricardo Feller. But on cold tyres, Thomas Prining would be able to catch him up. Remy Rass was also getting in the mix in the BMW, having started 13th on the grid. Thomas Prining closed the gap, but as Ricardo Feller got his tyres up to temperature, it looked more and more likely that the Audi would be able to stay ahead. But then this fantastic move from Thomas Prining, a dummy to the right, a sweep to the left, and the Porsche driver was through effectively into the lead of the race. But then there was more drama and more excitement to come. Kelvin van der Linde popped out in front of both of them after a terrific run through the pits. On cold tyres, the championship leader, though, failed to keep Thomas Prining behind, ran out of road, two wheels through the gravel coming out of turn seven and down to a net second place. And then Ricardo Feller saw the opportunity to pounce. He dived down the inside of his teammate. There was light contact between the two Ab Sports Line drivers and Feller got through as well. So Kelvin van der Linde down to effectively third place when Tamaro Engel and Christian Engelhardt have made their mandatory pit stops later in the window. Look back from Thomas Prining's car at that move from Ricardo Feller, trying to pounce on Kelvin van der Linde after his slow exit from the previous corner. Contact then between Lucas Stoltz and the local driver, Maximilian Powell. Powell sent into the side of the Mercedes, both of them in the gravel trap. And that would bring about the safety car. Lucas Stoltz from fourth in the championship to get his first DNF of the season. So into the closing stages of the race, and news came through that Ricardo Feller would have to give second place back up to his teammate Kelvin van der Linde. That coming from the race officials. So van der Linde suddenly back up into second place. And he set up sights about chasing down the race leader now. Just behind them, Bortolotti was fourth. Rene Rast in fifth. And Bortolotti then fancied his chances of a second podium finish of the season. He drew alongside Ricardo Feller during the uh, sequence of final corners, but couldn't find a way past that. Allowed Rene Rast just the tiniest of gaps. It wasn't quite big enough for a BMW. There was contact between them. The wing bearer of the Bortolotti Lamborghini sent upwards. And then, pouncing on the pair of them, was Luca Engsler. Trying to get back in the action in a fight for the top five. Luca Engsler might have been going up against a three-time DTM champion, but he didn't care. He'd come into the weekend as championship leader. He threw it back down the inside of the BMW. The Sheldon van der Linde BMW tried to go around the outside, but Luca Engsler came out on top got himself back up into the top five. So an action-packed race, but victory number one of 2024, going the way of the defending champion, Thomas Prining, taking the chequered flag here at Lausitz. Chequered flag is out, well done. Win in Lausitz ring, very good. We are back in the championship, back in the championship. Standings P2, P2 in the championship, well done. Win at Lausitz. So Thomas Prining, Kelvin van der Linde and Ricardo Feller, the top three. Kelvin van der Linde with an eight-point lead in the championship. But Thomas Prining now up to second place in the standings, just ahead of Ricardo Feller with Maro Engel in fourth place. So the official results, Thomas Prining, Kelvin van der Linde and Ricardo Feller, the top three, with Mirko Bortolotti, Luca Engsler and Rene Rast just behind. Maro Engel, Sheldon van der Linde, Marco Wittmann and Lucas Auer rounding out the top ten as we look forward to the next encounter, which takes us to Zandvoort in the Netherlands.